Hello again, this is Simon James. One of my favourite directors will also be at the top or very high on most of your lists I'm sure. For the assignment, I've chosen Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick was an American film director, screenwriter, producer, cinematographer and editor. He was part of the new Hollywood filmmaking wave and is regarded as one of the greatest and most influential directors of all time. Blessed with an incredibly high IQ and an uncanny eye for detail, his films are noted for their dazzling and unique cinematography, realism and evocative use of music. Kubrick's films covered a variety of genres including war, crime, literary adaptions, romantic and black comedies. Also horror, epic and science fiction. Kubrick was also noted for being a demanding perfectionist using painstaking care with scene staging, camera work and coordinating extremely closely with his actors and behind the scenes well, collaborators. For a person so charming and, and so likeable, indeed lovable, uh, he can do some pretty cruel things when you're filming because it seemed to me at times that the end justified the means. <laughs> It was a long shoot, and I had to cry and hyperventilate and carry a little boy and run, you know, for most of the time we shot. And that was about a year, a little over a year. And anywhere between 30 and 50 videotaped rehearsals before we even rolled film. I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. Why? Because of Stanley. Given a camera by his father at age 12, he became obsessed with photography and then filmmaking. He started out as a photographer in New York City and then taught himself all aspects of film production and directing after graduating from high school. were made on a shoestring budget, followed by a Hollywood blockbuster, Spartacus, with Kirk Douglas, Laurence Olivier and Tony Curtis. I'm Spartacus! 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 first short films showed impressive skills and techniques, notably a reverse tracking shot in his first short film, Day of the Fight, 1951. Kubrick liked to have almost complete artistic control and enjoyed the rare advantage of having financial support from major Hollywood studios. He was not known as being an easy director to deal with, always asking the best from his actors, but at the end of each production, the actors were usually appreciative of the levels he had made them get to and made their performances that much the better. Many of his films broke new ground in cinematography, including 2001 A Space Odyssey, 1968, a science fiction film which director Steven Spielberg called his generation's Big Bang with innovative visual effects and scientific realism.
Barry Lyndon in 1975, Kubrick obtained lenses developed by Zeiss for NASA in order to film scenes under natural candlelight. The Shining 1980 was among the first feature films to make use of a steady cam for stabilised and fluid tracking shots. Kubrick was a cinematographer and editor on the first two of his 13 films. He directed, produced and wrote all or part thereof of the screenplays for nearly all of his films as well. While some of Kubrick's films were controversial, with mixed reviews such as Paths of Glory, 1957, Lolita, 1962, and A Clockwork Orange, 1971, most of his films were however nominated for Oscars, Golden Globes, or BAFTAs. Stanley Kubrick is widely considered to be one of the most important contributors to world cinematography in the 20th century, and one of the great masters that America has produced. Thanks very much for watching. Here's Johnny! <laughs>